Okay, question 16 is a money question. Alfie buys two books, each at the same price. He pays with a £10 note and gets £2.30 change. What is the cost of one book? Well, if we start with our £10 and we take off the £2.30 change, the difference must be whatever we paid for the two books. Now you can probably do this in your head. If you take 30p off £10, you end up with £9.70. And then if you take £2 off that, you end up with £7.70. So we must have paid £7.70 for the two books. So I'll just write up there, it was £7.70 for the two books. Okay, now the crucial thing here is that they were the same price. So we've got a half that £7.70. To get the cost of one book so we're looking to half seven pounds seventy now what you can do two ways of doing this you could do a bus shelter division so seven pounds seventy to half it you're dividing by two okay so twos into seven goes three remainder one so that now makes 17 twos into 17 goes eight twos is 16 and there's one remainder that now makes 10. 2's into 10 goes 5, and there's no remainder. Missing thing is the decimal point. So you need a decimal point in there. So it's £3.85. So it looks as though the price is £3.85. The other way you could have done this by halving £7.70 is you could have said, well, actually, half of 70p is 35p. And half of £7 is £3.50. And then just add those two together. And if you add those two together, you should actually get £3.85, which is the same answer. So one book must have been £3.85, final answer.